the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport Ghana has proposed some policy imperatives needing urgent government policy directives and action to promote the growth of logistics and transport space to contribute to socio-economic development of the country. We have more in the info infographics that we have put together for you. Of course, the leading professional body in logistics and transport, uh, Ghana's proposal plan from, is going to span from the rail sector to that of maritime and the country's uh, space. We are joined by the president of the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport Ghana, Dr. Ebo Harmond, on this particular initiative. So first of all, what do these interventions mean to your outfit? Dr. Ebo, are you there? Well, we're still trying to uh, raise the lines to get uh, Dr. Ebo speak to these matters regarding uh, Ghana citing policy imperatives for urgent government action there. We're joined by the president of the Chartered Institute, uh, Dr. Ebo Hammond. We're so grateful that you joined us, uh, Doctor. First of all, what do these interventions mean to your outfit? very much. Uh, we believe that if um, government embarks uh, on, on the road to ensure that these imperatives are implemented, it affects the entirety of the economy of, of Ghana. Not the economy, but the social life also. Aviation, okay. uh, um, road, rail, maritime, these are the bedrock of economic development. Great. Well, in another matter of interest to you, the ministerial vetting is currently ongoing. And of course, government appointees are expected to declare their assets. What's your assessment of the activity so far? That is asset declaration. Wow. <laughs> that, for that one, we, we as an institute, we, we really don't uh, uh, concern ourselves that much with that. Mm. We are interested in the fact that uh, government should invest in these uh, economic uh, areas and uh, we believe that it's it they serve as the backdrop for the development of the of the, of the country for example well, if rural roads are paved um, highways are dualized um, it, it 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 helps in free flow of uh, freight and also passenger which very movement is very important for economic development well that's okay. Well, uh, with regards to supply chain, Doctor, does Ghana and ECOWAS SAP region, the ECOWAS SAP region, need a coherent supply chain management strategy and implementation plan, in your view? Yeah, it's, it's very, very important. Uh, if you compare the ECOWAS region with the SADC, that is the Southern African Development uh, Coordinating Council, you realize that uh, they are more uh, integrated than, than ECOWAS in terms of trade. Uh, MECUAS also has the, the various laws that intends to integrate trade, but uh, even when you go, want to go across the border, you get a lot of challenges crossing the, the, the border. Uh, that's at least before the coronavirus. Um, and ECOWAS needs to do a lot. But we are even thinking beyond ECOWAS because of the uh, Africa trade, uh, um, trade area that has been created. We believe that the entirety of Africa must be uh, wired up in All right. terms of road work and communication. Dr. Abuhama, we're so grateful that you joined us. He's the president of the Chartered Institute of Logistics, uh, Ghana. We're so grateful once again.